Hello and welcome back to European Avals for the Great Can. So, what we're going to do now, we actually have a truce with pretty much everyone we can attack. Let's just double check. Oman has no claims on anything, so we can't attack anything through them. Maybe we should have left something in Yemen for them. Like, we should have left one province so that we could have taken uh, more. Like, we could have declared war again for the next core. Then taken even more from them. I guess we're just at the whim of whether they, like, claim anything. We should merge up these boats and then, uh, make them one here. Send them off in Basra. We could wait for Multan to take everything from Baluchistan and then, uh, declare war on them and feed even more to Persia. That seems like a reasonable suggestion. Like, that would work. We could try and get another vassal in India that we could then feed. Could work. We could try and work on integrating, uh, like annexing Persia, which we could start right now. Which would be a good idea. Get us a lot of land. It really depends how long we think this monarch is going to last for. We have a monarch who's age 39. So he might not last that long. He could last another uh, what, 61 years or something like that. And that would be a problem. Uh, we could get brave and attack Lithuania, but. They have Poland. That's that's the real problem. They have Poland as an ally. And Poland is massive and strong. And really, really strong. Could attack the Ottoman. They're friendly with us? Oh, they want an alliance. Bahamanus. Um, it would cost us stability to break ties, but I'm like, I want this alliance with, with the Ottomans back. Although they're not really that strong anymore. We could just leave them being friendly to us and then they just won't attack us. That worked too. Who are our rivals? It's been so long. Bukhara's a right. We have pos positive power projection. That is crazy. It's been so long since I've seen that. Um, what would, what can we do to increase that more? We really can't do much to increase that more. We do get the extra leader though with our upkeep. We have 25 uh, power projection. Uh, we're not very close to that. We should fire a leader if we're not going to use him. Um, don't want you, I think. No, it's the other one I don't want. Oh no, it is you I don't want. No leader. I would like to fire you, because you're not very good. That will save us a single uh, military point of level. We can build some more buildings. Let's do that. I think it's good to build regimental camps, and here's my logic for it. Actually, we get more regimental, we get a better version of the regimental camp next level military tech but we're not going to get that for a while what we can do is we can uh where's building skin yeah we could if we get a lot of land force limit from these buildings that will then like we're getting an extra half of that on like so for every one land force limit we get an extra, an extra half when we finish quantity so this is actually worth quite a lot and if we build them in pretty much every province let's say we have what Let's say we build them in 20 provinces, that's an extra thir That's an extra 10 troops on top of the extra 20 that we already get, so 30 extra troops. That's worth it. Let's build them everywhere. Uh, absolutely everywhere. I think it's the same cost everywhere as well. Yeah, it's fine. And it gives us something to spend our money on, which is good, because we're not really spending it on anything in particular. Uh, do we have a lot more power in Samarkand node now? Yeah, we do, but actually Persia have a lot more power in Samarkand node and they're keeping it there because that's where they're gonna get Money so less just going to Astrakhan or are we just losing more from Astrakhan for some particular reason? But why are we losing so much in Astrakhan? Livonian order has a lot Russia has some and Lithuania. Why does the Livonian order have any? Do they have trade ideas or something? Um, yeah, they have trade ideas. Okay. That explains it. We could stop collecting... Actually, here's an idea. Why don't we recall our merchant here? That'll then take away the negative that we get. Let's just see how this works. This will take away the negative we get. Right, where does it say how much we... It says we collect this much here. So, 6.98. Uh, how much does it say... I'm trying to find it. we can see that number. Alright, it's just right here. We collect this much. 
So let's recall this merchant and send them somewhere else. So let's say Samarkand. We will transfer trade to... Ah, oh, we have to wait for the merchant to come back. Let's transfer trade here. And we'll transfer it to Persia if we have to choose. But I just want to wait for our merchant to finish. Right. How much do we make here, actually, right now? 6.54. So we're losing really not like 0 0.4 ducats, maybe, I think. Unless I got that wrong. Let's see, we have the same amount of um, trade power in the node, so we shouldn't actually be losing anything. But if we transfer this guy over to uh, putting everything into Persia, we're actually making 26 ducats a month there. And how much we make? We're only making three here. I think we made a three ducat increase. I don't know. I wasn't keeping track of the numbers that well. It doesn't seem to be bad for us. Basically, the reason I would do this is there is a bonus in here. Um. I'm missing it. Actually, there's a bonus if you push trade towards this province. But there, you also collect naturally in the province. That was it. And you get a negative if you have someone collecting in the province. So I just needed to change that so we're making a little bit more money. Because we weren't making enough. Obviously. Uh, we have a few more boats down here, actually. They can join uh, the Basra crew. And when do our truces end? Need to check that. I said we can't attack anyone. We already went through this. Uh, can't attack anyone yet. Yeah, let's uh, annex Persia. That was what we were, I was deciding on. We should pro probably annex and not have those two sitting on top of each other. Annex Persia don't have those two sitting on top of each other. Whereas a truce of these guys ends in seven years. That's not us, actually. That's uh, 14 years. Baluchistan might actually end soon. It ends in three years. That's not too long away. We'll wait three years. We'll wait three years, then we'll annex Persia. I'm going to speed it up to speed five, because we're, we're not really doing a lot. Let's uh, see what's going on. Got to get this next missionary going. We've got a few more army we can build. Let's just build infantry. Um, I think we need 15 more for that army we had, so we'll just do that. Couple spaces, so that it'll allow us to keep the name. There we go. That'll be fine. Battle of Kiva? Oh, did we kill some rebels? Well done us. Um, we can actually go deal with those rebels. Once this army arrives here, we can give it the leader. And send it off to deal with Persia's rebels. Which are getting because they were overextended. Which is reasonable because we gave them an awful lot of land. <laughs> In fact these rebels are just popping up everywhere. Perfect. I'm, that's something we can do while we wait. We can deal with rebels. Haven't done that in a while. Uh, how can we check a country's overextension? I suppose if we look at their unrest it'll tell us. 5.05. .05. I don't know what that means. In terms of how much that gives. Is it, like, on a normal scale? Is it exponential? We can check it, though. Five uh, unrest from overextension isn't good, though. It isn't good at all. So we'll deal with their, their rebels. They, they are popping up like wildfire, so I'm guessing that maybe um, there might be a problem with the amount of overextension we gave them. Possibly we might have given them over 100% overextension. Possibly. Ottomans declared war on Tunis. Well, they are literally just being the Mamluks. Interesting. Also, Austria is... Uh, inv oh, that's... Genoa is, a, is at war with France, but Genoa doesn't... E Where's Genoa? I'm interested now. Where is your capital? Oh, so, um... Tangier's Genoa is attacking France, like, by themselves? They're not at war with France. Oh no, there they are. They're between Portuguese Louisiana and Congo. 
So this is France's war against Brittany, which they still haven't eaten this late into the game. Weird. Weird happenings. Uh, we can get the next idea. That'll give us uh, regiment cost down, which means that we're going to be making even more money. We're actually making 37 ducats a month with full uh, army maintenance. This is great. Absolutely fantastic. Continue uh, dealing with the rebels. They should actually like us a lot because of the rebel. Like, because we're dealing with all these rebels as well. Yeah, extra 20 for that. Um, we've got some diplomats who aren't doing anything. Let's see who we might want an alliance with. Korchin? Uh, they have low military tech. Ming? We could want an alliance with Ming. I could see us wanting this alliance. I'll just prove relations with them. And at this side, an alliance with Poland would be really nice. They're probably never going to say yes. Minus 1,000 because of opinion, minus 50 because they're allied to Lithuania. Yeah, but what if you weren't allied to Lithuania? Actually, let's check that. If they weren't allied to Lithuania, it would be minus 40 due to neutral attitude, our naval strength, trust, and our army strength. They might say yes. But it, it might not be worth wasting our diplomats' time on. It might be better just to uh, fabricate some claims. Um, Austria could be good as well. Yeah, we'll think about. It. I'll think about it. We're not really expanding that direction though, so it's a matter of waiting. The civil war event is actually very annoying. The fact it's just sitting there. It's like if you take any overextension. You're just going to have this event. It's just going to happen to you. Oh, this is the thing I want to check. What did they take? They did take an... They released Koristan. There we go. They released Koristan. We can take that. Uh, fabricate claim. Uh, where is it? Fab fabricate claim. That can go to Persia. Baluchistan will seed all of these provinces. And then, can we go to war Baluchistan? In two years. Okay. Uh, we should be fabricating a claim on them as well. That's what I'm forgetting. So that we can actually go to war with them in two years. Uh, I wonder how Persia's doing on the sieging. Not sieging, the, um... The coring. Interesting to see what they're doing with that. Actually, does Coruscant have um, cores on everything? It has cores on us. Yeah, it's not helpful. Um, they're doing all right on their sieging. How much do they have from unrest now? Still five unrest, like uh, five unrest from having them. They've not really cored anything actually. They've been dealing with the rebel situation. Oh well, we'll keep feeding them and dealing with their rebels. That's fine. We're used to that situation. We could take Coruscant ourselves, actually. It's not that much war score. Or on, or um, the other one. The one that matters. Uh, overextension. The one that I keep calling war score. So yeah, quick war of Coruscant and a uh, longer war of Baluchistan. Be nice and quick. Looks like uh, Bakara have their share of rebels as well. Which, um, we could possibly capitalize if they actually were a problem. No, Coruscant, don't don't worry. We're we're just putting these uh, troops here for your protection. Yep, we'll go for that. That's a good story. We're gonna protect you from the nasty Baluchistan and Persia by eating you ourselves. 60% uh, of the way there. We can speed up time a little bit if we're just waiting for this uh, claim to come in. Tunis will seed a whole bunch to the Ottomans. Uh, no, they won't. Just one province. Uh, and then give them the money. Okay, they just want that province so that they, in the next war they could core everything they took. Okay, that makes sense. a lot of sense, actually. 
continue waiting for this uh, to go through. Almost finished claim. Uh, are we finished building all of the boats down here? That's a good question. We've got one more boat in production, but then we can build another nine. So let's uh, see. There's nine boats. Just uh, delete the name and go for that. Nine boats. Continue building them. Might as well go up to our force limit. Right. I would like to declare war on you. Yep. Just move in here. We actually got that claim before we managed to DC uh, that province. It's great. Uh, administrative tech. Gonna take that. Allows another idea group. Still not entirely sure. What we so we could take anything. Is there anything that we want particularly? Is there a core core creation cost? goes down. We should take administrative. It gives us mercenaries, it gives us interest per annum goes down on loans, so if we want more money to pay for these mercenaries that would be good. It gives us more possible advisors to choose from. In fact, we should be paying for better advisors as well. Now that I think about it. We should be paying for level 3 advisors. It doesn't matter what they do, but we should be paying for them. How much we're making? We actually can't afford that. Uh, all of them. We'll keep the diplomatic reputation guy. Um, yeah. Pay for the next level. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the diplomatic reputation guy. Although we could afford another one, possibly. But no reason to uh, go into that. Like we just, it just gives us more points if we pay for the more expensive guys. This actually didn't have any defences on it at all. We started off at 0% because of the uh, 4 artillery we have on that army. Now will get more piety so that our missionaries finish quicker. Let's uh, speed up time a little bit more. Uh, we should probably fabricate another claim on Baluchistan anyway, even if we're not going to use it. Just keep fabricating on them. We'll be able to use that next year. It'd be nice if we could finish this war before that happens. Convert the province. Let's convert the next province. Still got quite a number to do. Right. Take that province for ourselves. It only gives us 3% overextension and we'll take your money. Core that for 20 admin points. Let's have a look here. Yeah, administrative efficiency gives us minus 20, have claim. Tradition of conquest gives us minus 20. Is that an, an idea we have? Oh, we do have that idea. So that means that if we were to get another, we could get another 25 on top of that with the um, idea group. Where is it? See, that would be really, really cheap. That's minus 50, minus um, 75. No, minus, yeah, minus 75. It's no. I, I added two of them twice. That'd be minus 50, minus 70, minus 80. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That'll just take a lot of land. I mean, if we can actually have overextension. Just something that we're not really allowed to have, but that's fine. Diplomatic technology. Yeah, we can take that, but that now means that we need to uh, put our boats in to repair or something like that. Uh, Baswell, you should go and protect trade in Baswell. Right. Get them all merged up over there. Uh, improved relations with Ming to the max. Let's recall our diplomats. Can oh they like us? I would like this alliance. I'm actually gonna just call it, go it now, even though that puts us over our limit. I think that's worth doing. Just because that gives us a little bit of an extra barrier against Russia, because if Russia want to attack us, they would also have to attack Ming. And they don't really have the resources to do that. 
I mean, they could probably manage it, but Ming could attack from over here, which means their army would also have to be, would have to be over here and over here. I don't think they can take... I don't think they... I think it would be a close fight if they fought us one-on-one. -on -one. I don't think it would be close if they fought us with Ming. So, yeah. it would be cool. Uh, I'm actually going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time we will take most of Baluchistan and give it to Persia. And uh, hopefully our ruler will die. That's not a thing you usually say about 555. But I would really, really like to be able to declare war on people. And just take their land. Especially with the amount of administrative uh, like decreases we're getting on this uh, core creation cost. In fact... I'd like to keep this ruler until we get core creation cost minus 25%. Then I would like him to die and for us to just explode all over India and just golden horde written all over this. Then uh, break our alliance of Ming and put our name over here. Be great. See you then. Goodbye.